Good morning, Ospreys. Today is Wednesday, January fifth, twenty twenty-two. Yes, the weather today will be sunny and cool. Today's lunch choice is pizza. Today's special day is A five. Now it's time for morning meeting. Happy Wednesday! Today, today is an early release day. On Wednesdays, we will start looking at careers that you may be interested in. Today, we will watch a short video of what ro robotic engineers do. Uh, but first, let's say what year you will go to college or start your career. Kindergarten, what year you go to college or start your career? First grade, what year will you go to college or start your career? 2033. And second grade, what year will you go to college and start your career? 2032. My name is Tessa Lau, I am Chief Robot Whisperer at Saviok. Savvy Oak is a robotics company and we're building autonomous robot helpers for the services industry. I went to Cornell for my undergrad. I got a bachelor's in applied physics and computer science. I really liked physics because it was about hands-on doing experiments and building things and making stuff real. Computer science was also really interesting because you could create stuff a lot faster on a computer. And so I went into computer science for my graduate studies. I went to the University of Washington, where I studied artificial intelligence and human-computer interaction. I don't think of myself as a roboticist, even though that's what I do. The robot whispering for me is about making it so that the robots behave well in human environments. And it's not just about programming or engineering, it's about looking at those robots in context. The way he's being used is that uh, the front desk uh, receives a call from a guest room saying, I'd like to order a sandwich, or I forgot my toothbrush. And uh, so they grab the item that they want to deliver, uh, load it into the robot, type in the room number, and the robot will go off to the room automatically. Robotics has the potential to actually change people's lives uh, in a much deeper fundamental way than software could. Because it actually, it's a, robots are physical. They can actually move around in your world and do things for you. The robots that we are building, they can't replace a human because there's so much that a human can do that a robot can't. What they can do is the mundane stuff that no one wants to do anyway. Like, you know, run stuff up to a hotel room and then come back down. No one person can build a robot on their own. And we all know that and we all help each other out. I think one of the biggest skills that I bring to Savvy Oak is soft leadership skills. I'm invested in making sure everyone's working together. I think it's really valuable to know a lot about a variety of things and then have a specialty within there where you focus and do a deep dive. I know computers, I know networking, I know physics, and that actually gives me knowledge about mechanical uh, performance and just the basics of electrical engineering. I do a lot of uh, integration testing, just making sure all of our software works properly on the physical hardware. We use GitHub a lot, which is a, an online uh, collaboration tool for sharing source code and commenting on it. We're leveraging a lot of the contributions from the open source community. Those tools are freely available. Anyone can pick them up and uh, learn how to use them. My advice to women going into STEM field is don't listen to anyone who says you can't do something. Definitely cultivate hobbies related to the field that you want to be in. I was lucky that my dad was into hobby computers. And so he brought one home, and so I would spend a lot of time just playing around the computer and seeing what it could do. We have those robots out in hotels right now. We can log into them over the internet and watch them as they're doing deliveries to hotel guests. Seeing the people interact with them and be delighted, all of those interactions are happening because of things that I built. And that's really incredible. JPS Kids Soar Higher, Super Problem Solvers, Outstanding Writers, Accomplished Readers, Ready for Success. Now time for our success equation. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Why did the computer squeak? I don't know. Because someone stepped on its mouse. <laughs> Have a great day!